Hello and welcome to a Vector Tuts Quick Tip screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham. I was looking at this MC Escher drawing and I wondered if I could do something like it in Illustrator using the Blend tool. So stay tuned and see how it turned out. Escher has several works like this where one object morphs into another and the positive space of the first becomes the negative space of the other one. My first thought was to start with the two objects, in this case the bird and the fish, which I traced from the drawing. I'll go back to the drawing for a second and count the number of steps between each shape, and I get about eight. Next I'm going to double click on the blend tool and choose specified steps as the spacing method, enter my eight steps, then select both the bird and the fish, and go to Object, Blend, Make. Now I have the live blend, and if at this point I wanted to add or subtract steps, I could double click on the blend tool again and change the number, and it updates on the fly. I'll just keep it at 8 for now, which results in 10 different shapes, the two original ones and the 8 steps in between. I need to expand the blend to release it to the individual shapes, which I'll do under the object menu, and then lastly, ungroup everything. Now I've put the Escher image on a template layer, and turn the shapes blue so I can see them better, and now it's just a matter of arranging them. I'll have to make duplicates for each of the objects in each row, and I'll just skip ahead here. And as it turns out, I had too, too many shapes in my blend. I should have entered six steps for a total of eight, so I just put those aside. So here's what it looks like in black and white, and while it's not quite there yet, it's kind of the right idea, and it shows you how you can blend one object into another. For my second attempt, it occurred to me that instead of blending the completed fish and bird shapes, I should draw the negative space between the fish and blend that with the bird. So here's the shape I traced from the Escher, and it looks kind of like a mutant rabbit, I realize, and I'll go ahead and blend these two objects, but first I'm going to choose six steps instead of eight. As before, I'll expand it and ungroup it, and then duplicate and arrange the shapes. This method was a little more promising, but what I realized is that working with black shapes on a black background poses a problem, and also the fish shapes that were supposed to emerge from those black shapes weren't very fish-like. So what I ended up doing was using some of the fish from the first blend, filling them with white, and placing them on top. If you view it in outline mode, you can see that there's some overlap here, so it still needs lots of tweaking. I added some roughened lines to the background to mimic the Escher, but it's a long way from finished. It really makes me appreciate Escher even more, but morphing with the blend tool is still pretty fun.